Sound suppression water system now being armed for release. Confirmation we have three main engines ready for ignition. Shuttle now on internal power. Liquid oxygen and liquid hydrogen fill and drain valves are closed. Solid rocket booster flight data recorders are activated. And the handoff to Atlantis's onboard computers. Atlantis now in control of the countdown. Firing chain is armed. Sound suppression water system activated. T minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 3, 2, 1, 0, and liftoff of Space Shuttle Atlantis on a mission to build, resupply, and to do research on the International Space Station. Houston now controlling. Atlantis begins its penultimate journey to shore up the International Space Station. Atlantis now on the proper alignment for its eight and a half minute ride to orbit. Four and a half million pounds of hardware and humans taking aim on the International Outpost. 30 seconds into the flight. Atlantis almost two miles in altitude, almost six miles downrange from the Kennedy Space Center already, traveling 500 miles an hour. Three liquid fuel main engines now throttling back to 72% of rated performance going into the bucket, reducing the stress on the shuttle as it breaks through the sound barrier. 55 seconds into the flight, all systems operating normally, 900 miles an hour. The speed of Atlantis right now, six miles in altitude, nine miles downrange. Atlantis, go with throttle up. Copy, go with throttle up. The throttle-up call acknowledged by Commander Charlie Hobaugh, joined on the flight deck by Pilot Butch Wilmore, Flight Engineer Randy Bresnick and Leland Melvin, seated down on the mid-deck are Mike Foreman and Bobby Satcher, kicking off their work week with a Monday commute to orbit. One minute, 30 seconds. Atlantis now beginning to roll to a heads-up position, the main engine swiveling, enabling, enabling the shuttle to uh, move to a heads-up position above its fuel tank, gaining more favorable communications through the tracking and data relay satellite system as it heads uphill. Atlantis, press to Miko, single engine Zaragoza 104. Press to Miko, single engine Zaragoza 104. That call from Capcom Chris Ferguson uh, to Commander Charlie Hobaugh indicating that Atlantis can make normal Atlantis, orbital cutoff five, targets in the event of an engine failure. Go for the pitch. Okay, nominal shutdown, go for plus. Main engine cutoff confirmed by the booster officer standing by for external tank separation. And the bird's eye view from the external tank camera of external tank separation. Atlantis now in its preliminary orbit. Commander Charlie Hobaugh will now maneuver Atlantis so that cameras embedded in the shuttle's umbilical well can perform photography of the discarded external fuel tank. And Mike Foreman and Leland Melvin are about to use digital still and video cameras to capture handheld imagery of the tank for downlink a few hours from now. A flawless climb to orbit for the shuttle Atlantis and its six crew members en route now to the International Space Station.